SmackDown was host to WWE Draft Night 1 and the show was tremendous. There's hardly anything to complain about from the show. That said, this is a best and worst, and the two aspects of this week's show that did not quite hit home will be mentioned here. While there's not enough space to mention every positive from WWE Draft Night 1, rest assured that it was a good show. If SmackDown hits a home run like this every single week, fans would certainly celebrate. What did you think of this week's episode? Let us know in the comments below. Feel free to disagree with the opinion of the reviewer. Number 3. WWE Draft Night 1 Best and Worst, The New Day Splits Up. Is The New Day splitting up once again on WWE Draft Night 1 a good thing or a bad one? It's very hard to tell at this stage of the game, and it will become more obvious with the passage of time. Also, with Big E on Raw and Drew McIntyre on SmackDown, when do we get to see these two gladiators lock horns? Last week on Raw, a lot of fans were excited by the possibility of this encounter. One has to believe that it's going to remain a dream match for somewhere down the line. It would have been cool to see an extended Hurt Business vs New Day feud, but we got what we got, one has to believe. Big E has the chance to do great things as a singles competitor away from the comedy that comes with being a part of the New Day. This reviewer can't come to a conclusion about whether the New Day splitting up on WWE Draft Night 1 is a good thing or bad, chime in below with your thoughts. Number 2, WWE Draft Night 1 Best. Everything about the Seth Rollins home invasion. While WWE Draft Night 1 was great in terms of determining which superstar was headed to which brand, it was also a loaded show from start to finish. Did you catch Edge telling Beth Phoenix to contact Daniel and David during the course of the segment? Well, that was a direct reference to Dash and Dawson, or Cash and Dax, if you will. Number 2, WWE Draft Night 1 Worst. What's up with Kevin Owens booking? Remember when Kevin Owens used to be the WWE Universal Champion? His fall from grace has been a sight to behold. The fact that he is suffering losses to Happy Corbin in such an embarrassing manner should be indicative of the fact that his days may be numbered. We have to commend Corbin for his selflessness. Whether it's Riddick Moss or the Knights of the Lone Wolf, the man has always been willing to give the rub to deserving talent. What do you think of the name Madcap Moss? Number 1. WWE Draft Night 1 Best Brock Lesnar takes the bloodline to the cleaners. The highlight of WWE Draft Night 1 has to be Brock Lesnar's promo. In classic sports entertainment fashion, he played major mind games on this week's episode, saying that he is a free agent thanks to Paul Heyman. The opening segment with Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, and the Usos was absolutely loaded as well. The match at Crown Jewel cannot come any sooner. Number 1 WWE Draft Night 1 Worst Why are the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions now just exclusive to Raw? Much of the charm of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships came from the fact that they weren't brand-specific. It was cool to see the title get defended across Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, and making them Raw-specific is just, kinda boring. It would be fair to say that the Women's Tag Team Championship picture is probably the worst book title scene in all of WWE. The move takes away the one thing that made the title scene semi-interesting. SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch has commented after not getting drafted on night one of WWE Draft 2021, clarifying that she is not eligible to be picked until next week's Monday Night Raw. Night one of WWE Draft 2021 tonight on SmackDown saw some interesting moves on both brands. Universal Champion Roman Reigns was the overall number one pick as he was drafted to SmackDown. The biggest swap was Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair, who is now part of the blue brand, Fans were confused as to why Becky Lynch was not picked by either of the brands tonight. Replying to a fan's tweet, the man clarified that she is not eligible to be picked until Monday, where night two of WWE Draft 2021 will take place. Last year, WWE announced draft pools for both the nights of the draft, however, they have not done the same this time. The man is not eligible to be picked until Monday. I wanted to give people more time to put money on the table, said Becky Lynch in her tweet. Hours before this week's edition of Friday Night SmackDown, WWE announced a huge match for the upcoming Crown Jewel pay-per-view. SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch will be defending her title against Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair in a triple threat match at the show. Sasha Banks returned to WWE last week at Extreme Rules and interrupted the title match between Belair and the man, she ended up attacking both the champion and the challenger, announcing her intentions to win the title. Night 1 of WWE Draft 2021 also saw Bianca Belair get drafted to Raw, Sasha Banks' status is still unknown as she was not drafted tonight. With Charlotte Flair getting drafted to SmackDown, it is highly likely that Becky Lynch will now move to Raw. Comment down and let us know your thoughts on Night 1 of WWE Draft 2021 and predictions for Night 2. Brock Lesnar's backstage segment on tonight's episode of SmackDown was pre-taped, as per a report by PW Insider. Lesnar had a huge stare down with Roman Reigns on the blue brand, 
the segment ended with Lesnar putting down Reigns and the Usos. Later in the night, the Beast Incarnate interrupted Kayla Braxton's interview with former WWE champion Jeff Hardy, revealing himself to be a free agent. As per PW Insider, Brock Lesnar left the arena following his attack on the Bloodline in the opening segment. Lesnar's backstage segment was reportedly pre-taped. Brock Lesnar's raw strength was on display when he put down Roman Reigns and the Usos on SmackDown. He will face Reigns for the latter's Universal title at Crown Jewel on October 21, 2021. When Lesnar interrupted Jeff Hardy backstage, both men nodded at each other, and Hardy left the spot in a hurry. Fans who have kept up with Lesnar's WWE career are well aware of his feud with Hardy. The latter is well aware of the Beast Incarnate's wrath. After his debut, Lesnar's first significant feud on the main roster was against the Hardy Boys, which led to a Lesnar vs. Jeff Hardy outing at the 2002 Backlash pay-per-view. Lesnar was victorious that night and later defeated Matt Hardy as well. Brock Lesnar vs. Roman Reigns is a match that the WWE Universe has witnessed on various occasions. The two men have squared off twice at WrestleMania, however, the roles have been reversed this time around. Reigns is a top heel on WWE TV, while Lesnar has displayed babyface tendencies since his return at SummerSlam 2021. A new fan video offers an explanation for the rope breaking under Finn Balor during his match against Roman Reigns. A fan video has perhaps answered the question which should have been on everyone's mind after they watched the rope break under Finn Balor to cost him the WWE Universal title at Extreme Rules last Sunday. Roman Reigns was able to retain his championship on the night, having appeared to benefit from a stroke of luck. Baylor, who fought as his demon persona, managed to survive a spear before climbing the ropes to hit the coup de grace, but the top turnbuckle suddenly gave way, presenting Reigns with an opportunity to hit Baylor with another spear and claim the win. WWE has used such effects during matches before and such spots usually involve a ring collapsing. Fans will remember the trick coming into play during a match between Big Show and Brock Lesnar, as well as one between Mark Henry and Big Show. Of course, the rope breaking under Baylor was all part of the plan on Sunday, and a new fan video has exposed a cameraman with what looks to be a knife making a cut on the rope, Reigns is now set to defend the Universal title against Brock Lesnar at Crown Jewel later this month. It appears Baylor's run in the main event picture might have come to its end, and it will be interesting to see what WWE does with him moving forward.